Hello world, I'm Rich, and this is Rich's World Beer Tour. Got something from Evil Twin tonight. Never had this before, saw it at the store a while back and, and bought it. Uh, yin and Yang. Now this is kind of interesting. What caught me, uh, let's see, this is, uh, looks like it was brewed on the 259th day of 2014, so right at the end of uh, December, this is a complete RTD black and tan, not just any black and tan, but one where we flawlessly mixed a flippant good Imperial IPA with a profoundly evil Imperial Stout and sustained sweet beer balance. Evil Twin, Stratford, Connecticut. It's 33% Stout and 67% India Pale Ale. 10% ABV. So they've mixed an IPA and a stout together. This I had to try. Nice and fresh that the IPA is not going to drop off. Let's uh, get my tulip here. I want to get my nose in this thing. I want to see what this is all about. Fairly aggressive pour. Fingers worth a head. That is, let me get it to a light. It's almost completely black. There might it might be like dark, dark brown. That thing's darn black. I'm gonna you be the judge. Dark, dark black, dark, dark brown, whatever. Red Rover, Red Rover, send Maria Devon over. I'm not getting <laughs> it's gonna get a little something on the nose here. There is the faintest of faint smells, and I, I, I'm not getting anything. There's a little bit of, I don't know if it's a citrus or I'm trying to get it to foam up a little bit, get a little nose out here. Maybe a little bit of citrus. Marshmallow, maybe? I, I, this thing is really quiet on the nose. Let's let's see how she drinks. Hopefully it's better than what's on the nose. Cheers. Nice medium mouth. This is interesting. There's a little bit of that stout sitting back in there. And then there's this citrus piece, this hoppy citrus piece coming through. And I think that's where I got this marshmallow smell. I also get kind of this marshmallowy taste. It's, I think it's the mixture. I mean, it is coating my mouth. It is a uh, mixture of the stout along with that citrusy piece and it gives me this the combination marshmallow this is there's a little bit of carbonation to it yeah there's definitely some hop in there there's definitely this citrusy piece a little almost mango it, it definitely boy this is it is coating my mouth I mean this this is weird to have two things going on in my mind while I'm getting ready for stout week and I've got this stout taste going on in my mouth I've also got this citrusy mango a little bit of uh, tropical thing going on and it's not just the hops of a good stout. It's a the boy. This is this is odd. You know this is this is the uh, 
the black and tan when I get a black and tan I mean they, they just balance each other this one seems to be fighting each other not balancing each other yeah I get this uh, there's a melon um, melon citrusy component at the end that lingers with me the 60 some percent uh, India pale ale wins wins the race obviously it is smoothed out by the stout this is really interesting let me try one more one more hit here and we'll come back to you and the more I drink it the more I get that orangey uh, citrus piece There's just this pine. There's a, there's these other things underneath that are kind of coming out. This pine up, and it could be that it's a little too cold. I, I, if anything, my fridge downstairs is a little too cold. This is probably pushing 50, probably not quite where I want it to be. Um, there's a lot of little tropical notes coming out on this thing, with the smoothness, the creaminess of a stout. You get this lactose component this milkiness uh, smoothing things out um, this is interesting you know me I, I'm fine trying different things um, going out and exploring different beers you know to be honest I'm not sure I would buy this one again um, I like all the little components together together they seem to be fighting each other, and that's what's kind of throwing me off. Um, where a normal black and tan, I got on to, to uh, a local tavern here, you know, uh, you go down to Minneapolis to Merlin's, probably the best British Isles restaurant, bar, uh, pub in the Twin Cities, and they pour you a black and tan, and that thing complements each other, and boom, it, it slides down, and it's just real easy. This one seems to be fighting itself. And I'm just not digging it. Um, I'm, I don't know. Man, the indiv individual flavors, I think the IPA on its own, on its own, it'd be awesome. The, the stout on its own, I think it'd be awesome. Combined, they're fighting themselves. I'm, this is like a 7.5 out of 10. I'm just not digging this thing. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's me. Uh, gang, let me know. This is, you know, the, individually they're sold. Yin and Yang is sold individually. Um, but this is the combined. So if you've tried it, can you let me know if, if I'm way off base? I mean, sometimes I, there's something that just doesn't agree with a person, but everybody else thinks it's, it's incredible. Um, let me know if I'm wrong. Yin and Yang, Evil Twin Brewing out of uh, Connecticut. Stanford, Connecticut. Stratford, Connecticut, sorry. Um, let me know if I'm missing the boat here, but this thing's fighting itself, 7.5. Um, anyways, I'm gonna, if I, if I get some different tastes here as, as it warms, um, I will put some notes down below. Um, otherwise, you put your notes down below and tell me if I'm right or wrong. Um, thanks for sharing another beer with me. Appreciate it. Cheers, world.